The use of blockchain technology is one of the most groundbreaking financial innovations to date, and it promises to reduce fraud while also ensuring that transactions are both quick and secure. It has reached such popularity that important institutions, such as the French investment bank BNP Paribas, the Nasdaq, Barclays, the Swiss investment bank UBS, Deutsche Bank, and DBS Bank, have all made public statements about their interest in investing in it. In addition, the Goldman Sachs Group took part in an investment round that raised $50 million for the Bitcoin wallet and payments company Circle Incorporated. Meanwhile, the Banco Santander, SAN, financial institution in Spain is working on blockchain-based solutions that will reduce costs by $20 billion yearly. Regardless of whether or not they are interested in the space, all individuals need to learn how to use and start operating cryptocurrency wallets, let alone regular bank accounts. This is because the hype surrounding cryptocurrencies and blockchain has grown rapidly in recent years. Although some banks have taken a somewhat negative stance towards cryptocurrencies, many have expressed interest in integrating blockchain into their existing technology. Financial institutions across the world have indeed needed to be faster to integrate cryptocurrencies and blockchain into their systems, but the fact is that they will eventually do it. This means that the sooner you learn how to use it, the better your chances of benefiting from this new financial technology. After selling their digital assets for fiat currency, users can now access the funds stored in their wallets to make financial transactions. Depending on the bank that you use, this will make it possible for them to deposit the money into their bank account. You can add various payment methods, such as a bank account, debit card, bank transfer, and PayPal, by going to your settings and selecting the appropriate option. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a form of cryptocurrency, which is another name for digital currency. There is no actual currency in the form of Bitcoin, only digital data is kept in the blockchain. This indicates that it is a safe form of currency that is independent of control by the government. The underlying software that underpins Bitcoin includes a provision that states there will never be more than 21 million Bitcoins in circulation. There are only 21 million bitcoins in circulation also contributes to their value. If there is a higher demand for bitcoin, you will be able to get more money or services in exchange for a single bitcoin. In this sense, bitcoin has developed into a commodity that is traded in the same way that gold does. How does bitcoin works? A small group of people owns a large number of bitcoins. They are called miners. The miners provide computing power to verify the transactions that occur to ensure that no one can spend their money again. This activity is called mining because if you have several computers at your disposal, you can easily mine for bitcoins without purchasing them outright. Why transfer bitcoin to your bank account? While many online platforms have started accepting bitcoin as a form of payment, many stores and businesses still need to accept digital currencies. This means that the only way for you to be able to spend your bitcoins on physical items is to convert them into fiat currency, which can be deposited into your bank account. The ultimate goal is to make traditional currencies obsolete and replace them with bitcoin. People are putting their money into bitcoin because they believe it will become more valuable over time and thus a good investment. If you already possess bitcoin, you should keep it for a reason mentioned above. However, as of late, there has been an increase in demand for Bitcoin, which means that if you sell your Bitcoin right now and transfer the equivalent value to your bank account, you might be able to make a profit. In principle, you should one day be able to use Bitcoin for any transaction involving a purchase. Only a small number of individuals and businesses will accept Bitcoin as payment. You can convert your Bitcoin to cash for several reasons one of which is to use the value of your Bitcoin to purchase real things. Bitcoin, how to move Bitcoin to your bank account. You first need to get a wallet to move your Bitcoins into your bank account. A Bitcoin wallet is a digital wallet that lets you store your Bitcoins. You can open a Bitcoin wallet from any device or computer with an internet connection. You can also choose between hardware and paper wallets. Several types of exchanges let you transfer bitcoins into a bank account. However, many people are comfortable using PayPal as they have previously used it for online purchases. If you want to transfer your bitcoins from an exchange to your bank account, follow these steps. Sign up for a bitcoin wallet. 
choose which exchange you want to work with. If you would like PayPal to deposit the money into your bank account, then you will need a linked PayPal account. Transfer your Bitcoins from the exchange on which they are currently held onto your Bitcoin wallet. Converting currencies at an international airport when you arrive in a new country is analogous to moving Bitcoin from an online wallet to a traditional bank account. You are, in essence, selling your Bitcoin and buying dollars to the same value as what you sold your Bitcoin for. The so-called exchange rate for this currency trade is not influenced in any way by the economic policies of a nation's central bank or the actions of its government. Demand is what ultimately establishes the value of a Bitcoin exchange rate. The amount of money you will get for your Bitcoin will be determined by the number of people who want to buy it right now and what those people are willing to offer. Exchanging one form of currency for another is analogous to moving Bitcoin to a bank account. However, because Bitcoin is not subject to centralized authority, the process of exchanging Bitcoins takes place anonymously. It is not influenced in any way by the structures of the global economy. Cash out methods. Most online exchanges will offer various forms of payment that you can use to move Bitcoins to your bank account. Numerous online surveys are available, which you can use to make money by participating. This can be a good way to make money on the side as you move Bitcoin out of an exchange and into your bank account. You should note that some sites do not offer PayPal as a payment option and will instead ask for direct deposit without explaining why. Third-party broker exchanges Some exchanges have a third-party intermediary that allows you to deposit money into your bank account. The value of a Bitcoin is determined by the number of people who want to buy Bitcoins and the amount of money they are willing to offer them. This means that even if you sell your Bitcoins for more than you paid, there is no guarantee that you will get that much back. On the other hand, if there are few buyers, it will be easy to sell and receive your Bitcoins with the price going down. Peer-to-peer -peer platforms Some companies see the potential of Bitcoin and offer a peer-to-peer -peer exchange that allows for anonymous transactions. Peer-to-peer -peer platforms are often quite simple. The company does not have a fixed office. Instead, it is run from the home of one individual or a small group. If you want to make money with peer-to-peer -peer exchanges, you can offer your services on websites related to Bitcoin trading. Conclusion Mining Bitcoin is the process of earning Bitcoins. Bitcoin mining is a process of minting new Bitcoins, which is the only way to earn them. The process involves using personal computers, home appliances, and specialized hardware to solve complex mathematical equations that are solving the algorithms issued by Bitcoin, which offer a reward in exchange for completing the work. The best way to make money with Bitcoin mining is to join a pool. A small group of miners will get together and equally share the rewards. This is easier than trying to solve the mathematical equations yourself and should be avoided if possible. Bitcoin mining can earn you Bitcoin, but most of the time, it will not. It is usually only worth it for a single individual to mine Bitcoins if they can do so as part of a pool. If you join a pool, you have a better chance of succeeding and earning Bitcoin.